Good day everyone. So, I did discuss natin how to evaluate function. Okay? Now, let's say for example, we have a function f of x is equal to 3x plus 2. Let's say, pinapakuha sa atin ay f of 1. So, how to evaluate this function? Uh, so, we have f of 1 is equal to 3. Now, yung x na variable, papalitan natin yan ng 1. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nito, itong 1 dito, yan ang isa-substitute natin sa x. So, now, if we don't have uh, operation there, meaning to say times yan, lagay natin sa parentheses, so x magiging 1. Copy plus 2. Uh, f of 1 is equal to, since this is multiplication, so we have to multiply 3 times 1, yan ay 3. Then, copy mo yung 2. And, 3 plus 2 is 5. So, our answer is equal to 5. The f of 1 is equal to 5. Diba? Madali lang. Let's say, for example, we have the same function, pero ang pinapakuha sa atin, f of negative Two. Ibig sabihin, yung x natin ay papalitan natin ng negative 2. So, we have f of negative 2 is equal to, we copy 3 dito sa ating function. Then, yung x papalitan natin ng negative 2. Then, copy the remaining terms sa ating function. Okay? So, we have f of negative 2. So again, pag parenthesis, meaning to say that is multiplication, so yan ay negative 6, copy, plus 2. So saan galing itong negative 6? 3 times negative 2, kaya naging negative 6. F of negative 2 is equal to, so we need to add. Pero remember, pag nag-add tayo ng unlike signs, we have to subtract. No? So ang sagot dito ay 4. And which is the higher absolute value, that is negative 6. Kaya kopyahin mo yung sign no, ng mas mataas na absolute value, which is negative. Okay? So, our f of negative 2 is negative 4. Uh, let's have another function. Let's say f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 1. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung ating variable na x, we have 2. Okay? Dalawa yung ating x dyan. So, ibig sabihin, lahat yan papalitan natin. Okay? So, let's say, for example, letter A, ang pinapakuha sa atin ay f of negative 1. So, let's solve. f of negative 1 is equal to, so again, substitute, papalitan natin ng x yan gagawin natin negative 1. Then, we have square. So, lagyan lang natin ng square plus 2. Si x, papalitan natin. Ano nandito, which is negative 1. Then, copy minus 1. So, we have f of negative 1. What is negative 1 squared? Ibig sabihin, negative 1 times negative 1. That's positive 1. And 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. So, ang mangyari dyan, magiging minus 2. Then, copy mo lang yung minus 1. So, f of negative 1 is equal to, what is 1 minus 2? That's negative 1 minus 1. Okay? Ulitin ko, 1 minus 2, that is negative 1. Diba? Then, kinopya ko tong uh, minus 1. Or, pwede natin iterate. So, what is negative 1 minus 1? That's negative 2. Diretso na natin, that is negative 2. Okay? So, our answer if is negative 2. Now, let's say for example, pinapakuha sa atin ay f of, uh, let's say f of a. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng, lahat ng x, papalitan lang natin ng a. So, maging ganito, f of a is equal to, 
So, x, papalitan natin niya ng a. So, magiging a squared plus 2. Yung x dito magiging a. Then, copy minus 1. That's it. Yan na yung ating sagot. Okay? Let's have another example. Let's say we have f of x is equal to 2x minus 3. Uh, pinapahanap sa atin ay f of f of x plus 1. So, f of x plus 1 is equal to 2. Ngayon, itong si x, itong si x, papalitan natin ng x plus 1. Okay? So, substitute. So, ang mayayari dyan, x plus 1, lagay mo sa parenthesis kasi times yan eh. 2 times x. Kaya mangyari, 2 times x plus 1. Then, copy minus 3. So, f of x plus 1 is equal to, we have to distribute this, apply natin yung distributive property. 2 times x, 2x, 2 times 1, it's positive 2. Then, you just copy itong minus 3. Now, f of x plus 1 is equal to combine like terms. So, 2x, meron pa bang may x dito? Wala na. So, we just copy 2x. Since parehas naman itong walang x, we can combine this. What is 2 minus 3? Yan ay negative 1. So, lagay natin minus 1. Okay? This is now our answer. Uh, let's say, for example, we have f of b. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng x, papalitan natin ng b. So, f of b is equal to 2. So, si x, papalitan natin ng b minus 3. O, wala na. Tapos na. Okay? Ganun lang kasimple. This is now our answer. Uh, how about if we have the symbol na square root? No? So, we have s of x is equal to 2x minus, uh, the square root of 2x minus 3. Let's say pinapahanap sa atin ay s of 2x. Okay, so s of 2x is equal to the square root ng 2. Now, ang ipapalit natin sa x, imbes na x magiging 2x. So, kinopya natin yung 2, then yung x, papalitan ng 2x minus 3. So, s of 2x, kasi hindi laging f to, no? Any a letter, pwede natin gamitin dito. The square root of, sorry, okay, what is 2 times 2x? That's 4x minus 3. Now, meron pa bang uh, factor itong 4x minus 3? I think wala na yan. Uh, hindi na natin may square, ano? So, hindi natin ma-eliminate yung square root na symbol, yung radical sign. So, therefore, wala na tayong pwedeng i-combine dyan eh. That is now our answer.